Welcome to People Doing Good for Others. Welcome to People Doing Good for Others, where we praise and honor and celebrate those truly making significant differences in our communities. I'm Gary York and I'm grateful to be here. And I want to thank Wilkes Communications and River Street Productions, 100.9 WIFM for this opportunity. And thanks again for being part of our show. My feature guest today is Hardin Kennedy. He's a native of Wilkes County, the North uh, Wilkes High School. He's president of the student body there. Uh, he, all, he grew up thinking about his dad's garage, and he's such a delightful, inspirational, enthusiastic leader at Wilkes Community College today, and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So good morning to you, my friend. Good morning, Gary. Great to be here. Thank you uh, for Harden having me. Hardin Kennedy people talk about you uh, with great enthusiasm that you make significant differences. So tell us about growing up in... Um, in North Wilkes and maybe about your dad's garage. Well, um, I, I grew up in Trap Hill. I always call it the great state of Trap Hill, North Carolina. Um, went to Trap Hill Elementary School, uh, then went on to North Wilkes High School. We didn't have middle schools then. So uh, I remember the excitement. Uh, I grew up, my dad run his own shop, his own garage, and worked on cars and tractors, different things of that nature. And that had always been my passion. I enjoyed fixing things. You know, I learned how to weld there. I learned how to work on tractors there, how to paint. So he did a little bit of everything. And I remember receiving a little magazine as a newspaper from the high school system talking about what classes are offered when you go to high school. So most freshmen were scared to death. I was very excited because I seen two things in that book, and that was welding and automotive and that was offered at the Career Center. So uh, when I wow. moved to North High, uh, transitioned as a sophomore, I got the opportunity to go to the Vocational Center, it was called then, VC, and take automotive under Robert Sally. So uh, that, it, I loved it. Uh, I loved every minute of it. I found out once I got to high school, you could only take either or, welding or automotive. So uh, I stuck to automotive there. Huh. At that. So you were already an accomplished welder when you got there? Uh, I could weld pretty good with a stick welder and a wire welder uh, for what's needed in collision repair or body work uh, and some framework. I could do that pretty good from just being taught from my dad. Uh, you were student body president? I was. Uh, my senior year at uh, high school, North wow. High, I was elected for the student body president. And campaign? All campaign. It. Done Easy. all. It started my political career early. Uh, campaigned in the school and uh, what I wanted to be, what I've always been, we're sitting here today because somebody gave us an opportunity and we grasped that opportunity and that's how we became successful. So that sort of started early for me in high school is it's about the students. The students set the tempo for the school. So uh, when I ran for student body president, that's what I wanted. Set the tempo, let the students run out and be creative. So the, that sort of... Uh, that's how I wound up as a student government president. How about your career track uh, leading to the college? Give us a little bit about part-time, full-time. Okay, so once, uh, once I finished up with high school, I went to work for the Wilkes County Gar Central Garage, which is the maintenance garage for the county, Wilkes yeah. County, so take care of all the ambulances and patrol cars. Um, Eric Barker there now. Uh, well, Eric Barker works at the school bus garage. School bus garage. Right, yeah, I've got a little all right. Larry Elledge is over the county garage okay. now. All right. Um, worked there part time um, throughout, and then I was approached. I remember when Wilkes County got their first diesel ambulance. It was 560. That was the number of it, and uh, I was approached by Rex Barker and John Garwood and uh, uh, about going to school, going to the college to learn about diesels. Um, my specialty was in gas engines, to learn about diesels so we could keep repairing of the diesel ambulances at uh, the county garage. Did you really? Yeah. 
So I enrolled. They paid my way. So you didn't go straight from North Wilkes to Wilkes Community College? No. A little lap in there? A little, little lap of time. I went to work. Uh, I went to work, and that was what I thought I would do the rest of my life, was just work as an automotive technician. I enjoyed it, still enjoy it today. Um, I enrolled in the diesel program at Wilkes Community College. Uh, Rick Smith was the lead instructor there and, and finished with a two-year associate's degree and had a great time. Right. And uh, went back to the county garage and worked there until uh, 2003, in which I became full-time uh, instructor at Wilkes Community College in the automotive department. Yeah. Um, I worked part-time for the college from 94 till then in the evenings, just trying to help out. Uh, my, my, I guess yeah. the, the motions was is to give back. You know, my dad taught me and, and several other instructors taught me, so let's give back to the other students. And uh, I'm pretty competitive, Gary. Uh, I love to be the best, and I love this county to be the best. So whatever we can do to right. make students be the best, that's what I was after. Your role today? My role today, I'm the chairperson of transportation technology. And what that means is I oversee uh, four programs, uh, collision repair, automotive systems technology, diesel and heavy equipment technology, and welding technology. Uh, the three transportation programs other than welding are a two-year associate's degree, and our welding's a one-year diploma. I teach in some of those fields. Well, you told me that. <laughs> Tell so us I, about the classroom. Uh, I have classrooms uh, wherever they need me, mainly in the transportation side on automotive and diesel and collision. They're introductory courses. Um, I have a great time with the students. Uh, teach an intro to transportation or PC skills or basic welding. Um, just have a good time with the students in there. And they can go to any one of those programs from yeah. there. Uh, Let's just go straight to Skills USA. That's such a, a brand and an identification, your red jacket. Uh, let's talk about that. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history. Um, yeah. Before it was called Skills USA, it was called VICA. And uh, to me, that's one of the guiding lights, I think, that got, got that was my opportunity to start life. Um, VICA stands for Vocational Industrial Clubs of America. And over to Vocational Center, I had several inspirations of uh, Robert Sally, Jim Barr, Dean Francis, Roger Elliott. All these were instructors. Thomas Jones was the principal. Um, but we had an opportunity in VICA or Skills. It's an organization for any student that's in a vocational, trade, technical, professional, or health occupation uh, program to showcase their skills. Um, I competed while I was in high school as an automotive technician and as a, a quiz bowl candidate for doing current events. I remember going to uh, Mitchell Community College in Statesville and uh, won the regionals for automotive. And that was a big thing. Uh, you know, that, that just don't happen, you know, didn't happen that much. Uh, and I enjoyed it. Uh, and went on to become a, a, one of the skills champions here. So I was labeled as a champion. So when I came back, I was all excited. Uh, even had, uh, they've got pictures of me where I had Vicka shaved in the back of my head Did you at really? that time. So that's oh, what it meant Arden. to me. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So that, that was fun. Um, and after I'd graduated and became a member of the staff at Wilkes Community College in 2003, I started looking around and they didn't have then, uh, in 93, the name changed to Skills USA. They didn't have that organization at the college. So in 2005, we embarked on it and said, we're going to start Skills USA. And in my opinion, as I revert back to the first thing that I said, we're sitting here because, and successful because somebody gave us an opportunity. All right. And my mission at the college, our students in this county, anybody that attends Wilkes Community College, it's just as smart as those in Silicon Valley, California, if we give them an opportunity, a chance. So we're about providing opportunities to create success. So in 05, we did. We went and competed in automotive. I took Luke Wells uh, from Wilkes County, and he took first place in the state. He did. He the did. First time out. First time out. First place in the state. Uh, that qualifies us. Anytime you take first place, that qualifies you for the national contest. So we had an opportunity to go to Kansas City, Missouri. Goodness. So we had a great time there. We placed in the top 15 in the nation. 
Now what's meant by that is our, that just is proof in the pudding that our students are as smart as anybody else across this nation. Um, the next year we invited uh, building construction and Teamworks is a four person team that actually builds a mock house. So they took first place in the state and qualified them for nationals. And then I, I'm trying to think, um, in the next couple of years, it just went like wildfire across the college. Students were enrolling, uh, different instructors coming in. Uh, a lot of times I get told about being successful or, or get the spotlight for skills, but actually it's a chain. It takes everyone working together to make this happen for our students. Um, in the past average of three years lately, we take approximately 275 to 300 students to the state competition. And we generally come back in first places anywhere from 30. Now this is Wilkes Community College. This is Wilkes Community College and Wilkes County School System. 200 and some? To, yeah, over 200, sometimes even 300 students to compete at the state level. And secondary, the way it's divided, high school students compete against high school students, college students compete against college students. So high school is called secondary, uh, college students are called post-secondary. Okay. In that competition, we've came back with as many as 50 first places in the state. And what that does is qualify all those 50 students to go to nationals and showcase their skill there. Um, Harden, is there something magic about that competition or uh, identifying a path maybe for a student, uh, this is where I'm, I can do my best here and I'm gonna go to the next level. And Is there something about the, the competitiveness of it that makes it special? Well, I think competitiveness and also keeping a check on, did I learn what I should have learned? Uh, they start in high school, a lot of many students compete in high school level and they go out and they put the skills they've learned here in the county against all the students in the state of North Carolina at the state level. And if we win, or first place or second place, they're developing those skills even more. Now the next thing is they're also faced with business and industry. So business and industry are there watching them. So it's sort of like Olympic Games for business and industry, watching these students compete uh, on that level. And one of the things that you hear a lot today in national news and local news is talking about soft skill development. We need to develop soft skills. Well, with Skills USA, every student that not only do they compete in their technical skill, but students have to go through a job interview. They have to go through a dress rehearsal. Basically, their dress, their contest dress, so they specify exactly what they wear. If you're in a leadership contest, you're dressed like me. You've got a red jacket, a black tie, white shirt, black pants. You're professional so that you're part of the industry that's there. Um, filling out job applications, doing their writing skills. They have to do that, that's a station. So this addresses many of the soft skills that they say are in need. Now that student gets excited, goes back to the classroom and talks about, hey, you need to listen to Mr. So-and-so or Miss So-and-so because I just went, this is set on national standards and this is exactly what we did. So it starts a fire there. That student that transitions from high school to the community college then has the opportunity to compete in their career path there. Now what stemmed from some of this is the partnerships. We have a great partnership in the county. I was asked one time by state leaders, what can Wilkes County do different than any of that will set them apart from any other county in the state? And I said, well I can tell you one thing right now, is that's work together. If we all work together for one common goal to make our students as the best students possible, to build our business and industry second to none, I've said that's something we can do and that don't cost nothing. You know, I can't compete with money. We say here there's a certain synergy is the word that comes from working together, that three people working together can have the output of six if they have a single-mindedness and are willing to share the credit and do those things. It's amazing what can happen. So you're talking about maybe showcasing for employers also. Isn't that an important part of it? Oh yes sir, most definitely. Any time that we can put our students in front of employers to show just exactly how great our students are and, and the education institutions that's, that's built these students. 
uh, the latest, greatest technology, and leads to education accomplishments. She was talking about how can we break out and work together, the synergies. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the first things that started was career and college promise, and that's these opportunities are provided uh, college courses at each high school right. location. If you remember, to begin with, I told you I got on a bus and went to the career center, the vocational center. Um, I was elected to the Board of Education in 2012, and one of the things that I wanted to accomplish, I ran on career and technical education. Not all students are going to go to college. They're not going to do that. But we can provide pathways for a student to achieve their dream. What's their dream job? And we know in the market today that almost all jobs that's coming in 2019, 2020 is going to have to have some type of professional right. or post-secondary education in the future. So with Career and College Promise, what this is, this is an initiative led by the state. We were some of the first ones to do it here in Wilkes County that we took our courses at Wilkes Community College and offered them on Wilkes County school grounds, which led to one, a, of, the one of the first units to go into the high school. Yes, sir. One of the first ones to go and set off our classes. Now, across the state, these classes are offered on the college campuses, right. but not many offered on the high school campus. So that's more of an encouragement for the youngster to have it close by and yes. exposed to him and, or her. And uh, wow, go on, Harden. That, that, uh, and what that does is that shows inclusion. It takes everybody to build a community. It takes everybody. So these folks don't feel like they're different by going off to another location. And the partnerships, boy, they're just awesome. Between the e Wilkes Economic Development Commission, I yeah. remember meeting with them and, and talking to them and how excited they was. Uh, Wilkes Community College and Wilkes County Schools. You know, the statement's always been made, well, we can't do nothing with parents. You know, ch children are not parented the way they used to be. Here's my statement. Those children are in front of us, whether as a student, whether they're 10 years old or 65 years old, they're in front of us. So we have an opportunity to make a difference and provide them an opportunity to be successful. So now college is achievable for any student that wants it out there in our county. Now Wilkes Community College services three counties, Wilkes, Ash, and Allegheny. Right. These programs are also offered at their locations. So it costs $20 a course. So automotive, for an example, or architectural drafting, engineering, nursing, college transfer, any of these program pathways are offered on that site. So a student enrolls, it costs them $20. That includes the textbook. That includes uh, all the, the tuition. Now, if a student can't afford that, we have scholarships available to ensure they have the opportunity. Leave no one behind if you want to. Right. If leave nobody behind. If you're willing to work for it, we're willing to put you the in. The opportunity is here. Yes. Right here. Yes. And we also have career coaches in all the school, all the high schools now. Yes. That's yep. uh, Wilkes Community College and Dr. Cox has went over yep. a new, yep. as well as the trustees, a new strategic plan. Yep. We're out there. Our vision at the college, our mission is to double our graduation rate get our graduation rates up. How do we help? How do we become student-centered? How do we help put supports in place for those students that may have challenges, such as don't have childcare, don't have dependable transportation? How can we open an opportunity for them to come and enrich their self and skills? Now, it's not only just program skills, it can also be workforce development, community education, that provides a licensure that leads to the next step of- Harden, what's the project admit? Project Admit sort of came out of career, uh, career, our, our career pathways. Uh, um, so what that is is a partnership between Wilkes Community College and Wilkes County Schools to offer programs in advanced development of manufacturing and technology. Okay, um, so Project Admit was initiated by the Wilkes County School System, Marty Hemrick, and the school board. I was on the school board then. Um, and then we worked in partnership with Golden Leaf. So we went after a grant for Golden Leaf that would provide the monies um, to build facilities at the high schools to where more of these classes could be offered. So that wasn't tax dollars. 
that was grants. Yeah. And then also it developed an opportunity to go out to the Appalachian Regional Commission, uh, the Wilkes County EDC, every other identity to bring in monies. We have donors uh, straight from the county that donated that wanted to see student success. So what happened in that by the end of 2016, we had facilities at North, Wilkes Central, and West High. We had the room at East High uh, to offer the additional courses. But now that gave us room to offer our college courses there on that campus. Right. Uh, students feel that they were part of the college as well as part of their school. So that's Let's go back to skills just for a minute. Uh, and you say we have almost a thousand kids that one day. Okay, so we host, for the last 10 years, Wilkes Community College has hosted the regional high school competition. That's the February you're That's talking February. about? February. Okay. And next year, if you want to be a part of it, February the 25th, 2019, will be 17 counties has an opportunity or anyone across the state to enroll or to come to our Region 7 Skills USA showcase, uh, career showcase and conference. And any, any competition a youngster might want to compete, we'll have it for him or her. Is that right? Yes, we have. This is sort of what I call the shakedown to the state. So students other than in welding, um, there's 106 different contests with Skills USA. So if when students sign up to enroll, if they enroll in that contest, we'll host that contest for them. Right here is a brochure you gave me uh, the other day, and it, it lists all of those uh, 30 pages of of skill opportunities. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's, uh, those contests are anything from cosmetology, nail care, plumbing, building construction. Public speaking. Public speaking, uh, extemporaneous speaking, first aid, practical nursing, uh, medical math. Uh, there's just a numerous bunch of contests. Basically, anyone in the rim to support a nation. We, they're the champions at work. I mean, that, that's, that's what Skills USA is about. Um, so that gets them ready. All those students will qualify except for the welders. Now, the welders, that's elimination round. So every student that's in welding, they come and compete. Uh, the top 10 is what goes to the state level from the regionals. You spoke of uh, opportunities for sponsors, business sponsors, and you said that when the world provides the meal, and I just think that's an incredible. Uh, speak to the opportunity with sponsors, if you will. Yes, we have numerous sponsors, include our endowment corporation at Wilkes Community College and the foundation. Allison Phillips uh, has done an incredible. Yeah. incredible job. Without them, none of this would be possible. Yeah. Without a She sponsor. connected, I interviewed her once, and she spoke of you, and that's how we got together, really. The first mm -hmm. idea about skills, I didn't have an idea about it. Right. Oh, yes. She, she helps us provide because what I'm trying to do is we're trying to put our students in front of employers. And many cases, cost is a barrier. So we're oh, trying yeah. to take down those barriers. Give you a great example. How does employers succeed in this? Well, the employer succeeds. I'm going to use Jody Parks for an example. He's a waterproofing company here in the county. So he runs our masonry competition along with Dwight Hartzog. So Jody gets to watch all those students lay brick, lay block. So he sort of gets to look to see, okay, these are the students that's coming to ask me for an employment. So he gets sort of the first pick. He knows what skills each student has. So that's a connection with business and industry. In that competition, Adams Old Castle, they, they provide the mortar mix. They donate that for us, um, as well as States for Brick, uh, Pine Hall Brick. They donate that. So what we're trying to do is take that cost down. Um, Window World, a great sponsor. They sponsor the lunches for all the building construction students. And what they're doing, they take that opportunity to say, hey, here's all the job openings that we have. We would love for you to come to work for us. Uh, by hosting this competi competition and conference, Penske Trucking came up, brought a couple trucks. They do it every year. And they lay the job applications down for the transportation students to say, hey, we need you to come to work for us. That's what it's all about. We educate, create a great skills bank. We showcase that at the regional level, the state level, national level. And now all of a sudden business and industry says, we need to come to Wilkes County. We need to hire those folks. 
And so that provides that student with and We've also injury. had national champions. Yes, we've had numerous national champions. I know you asked me a question before, how many? I've lost count of how many. Um, wow. We, we've had, uh, just give you an example, mobile robotics. This is urban search and rescue. Uh, in this day and age of, uh, day and age of tragic uh, earthquakes, uh, different natural disasters, we have to have robots that can go into small areas and, and look to see if we got survivors. Or the robots, maybe we've got a bomb scare, a robot to go get it. We've seen that on national television. Our robotics team, we had two students that competed at state level one, and they won it at the national level, so qualifies them for world skills. They designed the robot, built the robot, and then they had to test it. So they ran this robot on remote control, and you say, okay, that's like an RC car, not too bad. Well, then here's the second part of the contest. They had to remove what they uh, demo as an explosive right. device out of different areas without being able to see the robot. They had to turn their back, so that robot had to have a camera on it with electronics to where they can move to see. Our team was the only team in the nation to remove all the devices and deposit them to where they're supposed to. Now, what did those students mean? Aaron Haymore, Willard Sheets, those were the two students. Aaron Haymore came from Wilkes Central and he was a state winner in CNC Millen while he was in high school in career and college promise classes. So when he came over to the college, he went into the engineering program, put those two together, now Aaron can design the parts, machine them out. Aaron Haymore, or uh, Willard Sheets is now building the robot, drawing all the engineering notebook, just like a business would draw it, and then take it out and showcase it and see what happens. So World Competition 2020, that's in China. So we'll see how the next place winners win for 2019, and hopefully these students will have the opportunity to go to World Competition. We spoke uh, earlier about a break, mm -hmm. about uh, that youngster who just really gets and gets buys in, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we come close to the end, and I want to thank Wilkes Communications and River Street and WIFM, um, the importance of hope, the importance of being a mentor the importance of giving back, like uh, your enthusiasm and your excitement about a youngster winning, you know, and learning and becoming a, a contributor. Uh, just a little bit, if you will, about the role that you play and the gifts uh, that you have, but that someone spotted that goodness in you, uh, John Garwood, you said, or somebody said, uh, you know, Hardin Kennedy can be a superstar and it, with just a little hope, maybe a little help. So talk about chance, if you will, or that big break. Oh, that, that's where I get excited and I'm passionate about. You know, Rex Barker and John Garwood, uh, I remember those, and Cecil Wood gave me the opportunity that broke loose uh, to my career. It's the same thing we're doing for our students. You know, they're our students, our, we work together. Uh, they're not this, that, they're not in a silo mindset, but they're ours. So we need to provide them with as many opportunities to success as we can. Uh, take away the excuses. Take away that bad look and say, let's focus on the positives. Let's see, I may not enjoy math, but if I understand the relevance that I need to know math in order to take that next step and doing a vehicle alignment for general. Not if, but when. Exactly. When they're going to grab that. Uh, that's what we're all about. Uh, working together here in the county, secondary education, as right down to the private sector. We have classes at Harvest Time Christian Academy. Right. We per, what we're wanting to do, the mission for Wilkes Community College and Wilkes County Schools and these other schools, is to provide every person, every student that we touch an opportunity to become successful. And we're sculpting them sort of like modeling clay and then put them in front of the business and industry and say, it's not that I'm saying that they're wonderful. You look at them. High expectations. See. Very high expectation. And, and they, they do it. They do it. And it's been showcased time after time after time. And that's provided the brand. You know, I said before, we got excited from winning a regional competition when I was in school. That was in 1991. Today, we're expected we expect here at Wilkes County to have national champions 
known across the United States. Superstars. Yeah, superstars. Right. These are superstars. And this is what keeps our work going. Professional nurses, you know, practical nursing, registered nurse. We've won that contest. You know, medical math, we've won that. We kept medical math competition for years here in this county. And uh, it was amazing. All of our health care ladies and gentlemen won national medals when the building of Heron Hall happened. Yeah. So all of this is just working together, bringing more and more and more spotlight to Wilkes County. And I just enjoy, I just sit back in awe and watching the you thrive on that. Oh, yes. I thrive on their success. It's wonderful to watch it because the fact of the matter is, if we don't give them an opportunity, then who are? And we are, are doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. Thank you for being with us today. Hardin Kennedy, a wonderful advocate in our communities, a person who believes there's uh, opportunity and hope and the blessings that come from uh, helping a person have that big break. So I'm Gary York and people doing good for others. And we want to thank Wilkes Communications and River Street again and WIFM and the wonderful Wilkes County Schools, the Wilkes Community College and tremendous leader advocates like Hardin Kennedy. Thank you for being with us. Come again. Thank you, Gary. All right. Mm -hmm.